Hello my dear friends, welcome back to our lesson for you friends. We are discussing about the anatomy and the external features of this clavicle bone. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about uh, the regions of your upper limb. You, you can see in the screen we have the bones of the upper limb. So we have divided our upper limb into, into four or six regions. You can watch that lecture to have knowledge. And then we discussed about the bones and then we have started to discuss about the clavicle bone the little key so we have discussed about the two ends of it there is a, a chromial end and then there is a sternal end so we have discussed about the external features of these two ends of this bone now we are going to discuss about the shaft of this bone so the shaft of this bone is actually divided into two different uh, regions into two different parts and what are those parts so from you can see here i'm drawing a line right you know that this flattened end is the lateral end and this is the quadrangular end is the medial end. So you can see I have divided the shaft into two different parts. The medial two-third two and the lateral one-third. The lateral one-third, the medial two-third. So the shaft is divided into two different parts and we will discuss, we will have a knowledge of these two different regions of it. So let's go for it. First of all, we have the lateral one third of the shaft. So the lateral one third of the shaft, you can see here, it's a little bit flattened. Look in the camera, you can see it's a little bit flattened. So we say the lateral one third is flattened. Then it is concave anteriorly and convex posteriorly. So my dear friends, if I'm holding the, the bone, it's in its anatomical position. So you can see here, if I make it uh, like this so you will see that the lateral one third is convex posteriorly and concave anteriorly as the bone will be like this right so this is the interior part and this is the posterior part end right so the lateral uh, one third is concave anteriorly and convex posteriorly then it has two borders okay so there are two borders of it one is the interior border like this and one we have the posterior border so how many borders it has it has two borders interior border and posterior border and it has also two surfaces the superior surface right this is its superior surface and then there is the inferior surface of it so there is inferior surface there is superior surface there is interior border and then there is the posterior border then it has a conoid tubercle in it now you can see here i will show you there is a conoid tubercle and this tubercle is placed uh, posteriorly right so there here you can see this is a tubercle and this tubercle is called the conoid tubercle you you can see also in the image i have it so this part is called the conoid tubercle and then there is a uh, trapezoid a line or trapezoid ridge you can see there is a trapezoid ridge there okay so this is the trapezoid ridge you will find in the lower end in the lower surface of this lateral one third of the clavicle bone so how many parts we say we say that there are uh, two borders and two surfaces and in the lower surface the upper surface very smooth the lower surface has a conoid tubercle and a trapezoid ridge or trapezoid line in it right friends now then about the medial two-thirds so the medial two-third of this bone the clavicle bone is we can say convex anteriorly but concave posteriorly you can see here the lateral one-third is concave anteriorly but the medial one-third is convex anteriorly now look here right so i have written there it is rounded the medial one-third is a little bit rounded yeah we know if you compare so the medial one-third is a little bit rounded and it is convex anteriorly and concave posteriorly and then it has four surfaces and what are those surfaces if you hold the bone in its anatomical position there is a superior surface there is an inferior surface there is an anterior surface and then there is a posterior surface so how many surfaces four surfaces superior inferior posterior and anterior okay what are these surfaces we discussed then in its inferior surface there is a subclavian groove right and what there is in the inferior surface there is a subclavian groove there 
you can see here this is the subclavian groove you will find there is a depressed part that is subclavian groove and then there is a costoclavicular impression in it so if you watch here in the bone this is the anterior surface or superior surface this is the inferior surface here is the subclavian groove and here is the costoclavicular impression in it it has there is an impressed part which is called the costoclavicular impression in it right and in the lateral part of this medial surface there is a there is a foramen present which is called the nutrient foramen so here you will have a nutrient foramen on into which the uh, the nutrient artery will enter and will supply blood to this bone so the next important thing about the lateral end uh, sorry the medial end is there is a facet which is called the sternal facet uh, for the articulation of this bone with the uh, menubrium of the sternum bone so what did we discuss we discussed that the shaft of this bone is divided into two parts the lateral one third and the medial two third the lateral one third is flat the medial two third is uh, we say uh, quadrangular right then the the uh, the lateral one third has two surfaces superior and inferior the medial one third has four surfaces anterior posterior superior inferior right then in the lateral one third there are what are the external features that we discussed i told you that uh, there is a conoid tubercle and the trapezoid ridge in it and in the lateral the medial two third there are four surfaces and there is a subclavian groove and costoclavicular impression and at we have here costoclavicular impression and then there is a nutrient foramen and at in the shaft of it in the medial uh, in the lateral parts of this bone so there is a uh, nutrient foramen present there so right here we are finished with the clavicle bone so this was about the shaft of the clavicle and in the previous lecture we discuss we have discussed about the medial and lateral end of this bone now my dear friends in the next lecture keep waiting to watch about the scapula we will have a complete lecture on the scapula also so friends if you watch the lecture and if you find it helpful please share the videos the links of our channel with your friends also and please do subscribe our channel see you guys in the next lecture till then allah hafiz